IBM Tivoli Storage Flash Copy Manager for Windows version 3.1. If we look at the graphical user interf interface of Flash Copy Manager, we can, we can notice a change um, in compared to version 2 right away. Under Protect and Recover Data, we now have, besides Microsoft SQL Server Protection and Microsoft Exchange Server Protection, another tab which is called File System. This is a new function in Flash Copy Manager and it allows us to protect flat Windows file systems. So, you can see the volume C, E, F, G, H here. So these are all the volumes on this particular machine. And I can select a um, vol uh, particular volume. So let's choose volume H. And um, before I back this up, I do want to look at the backup options. There is a new backup option and it's called a pre-snapshot command and another one that's called a post-snapshot command. Those options allow me to specify a script which runs before the actual snapshot or flash copy takes place and a script that runs right after the snapshot has been taken. So if we look at the file system here, we can actually see that the script quiesce is here and the script resume is here. With these scripts, you can program a application or database quiesce or maybe a shutdown and also a resume. So that, I call it a user exit, allows us to protect any application or database on the Windows platform with Flash Copy Manager. So now we do not only support Exchange and SQL, now we also support flat file systems. Let's um, start the backup now. So I have uh, specified these options. We perform a full backup. And you can actually see down here that our snapshot backup is running. So it's working right now. And uh, we can see um, all the actions in here. If something would fail, we could see that too. Uh, we can also switch over to the task details. And we can see there's a pre-snapshot command that was successful and we can see that the snapshot is actually performed right now and a post snapshot command has also been issued. It's completed now and in a task list we can actually see the success message. So we have now basically taken a snapshot of the H drive. Let's look into the file system again and we can see that we have a quiesce and a resume log here. We open them, we can actually see that um, the script did run and it has performed a quiesce and the post snapshot script also ran and it had produced another uh, log here. Okay, um, you might have noticed that in here the view is quite different from the way it was in version 2. And that is true for Exchange and SQL as well. So right now there is no launch activity anymore. Now we automatically bring up the view for, for uh, SQL Exchange and file system backups and also um, recovery actions. That means we have now integrated our former TDP uh, screen into the Microsoft Management Console in here. So everything is now MMC integrated. There is no launch uh, action going on uh, anymore. 
So very nicely you can actually control everything right from here. You can select storage groups um, for exchange for example and you also have recovery tab in here and you have an automation tab in here which allows you to schedule your backups right from here. Let's explore the recover tab. For this exchange server we have uh, various options for recovery. So we can restore the complete exchange server, we can restore an individual storage group, or we can restore individual mailboxes. So let's uh, choose a mailbox restore. And I want to pick one individual mailbox here, Jimmy's mailbox. So as you can see, Flash Copy Manager has retrieved all the users that were included in that first storage group uh, backup. And from here, we can um, open the Mailbox Restore browser. which will restore that individual mailbox under the covers and um, you can then see that in the middle in the middle view we have an Outlook type view now so this has changed to the previous version we are uh, leveraging fastback technology in order to be able to see the mailbox and the individual items and we have now an Outlook type uh, browser where we can restore individual mailboxes or individual emails right from here. Jimmy's mailbox is back now and we can go right in here to his inbox and from here we have a couple of emails from Mary we can restore uh, these emails to the original folder or we can also send it over SMTP and we can also use a PST file and even restore the whole mailbox into PST and as you can see here this is really a brand new view that is very very comfortable from where you can copy and paste individual emails uh, back and back and forth. Also note the automate tab up here. Automation allows us to basically schedule data protection actions. Now let's have a quick look on the dashboard. The dashboard um, shows us task completion, type of data protection activity, restore activity, and the historically managed capacity. From here we can also go into the individual reports and see what has changed now here. So we have now a graph for the historical managed capacity and we also have uh, the licensing uh, report here and also various reports for the data protection activity uh, as well as a uh, summary here. Thank you very much for your attention.